Hey guys, it's Marion from MarionLoveNotes.com and today we are doing a fall tablescape. I am so excited. We're doing a very formal fall tablescape. My son is sleeping, so I'm just gonna decorate this table with all of my beautiful glassware that we were actually given um, from my mother-in-law. So she gave us the plates, the glasses, and the cups and all that stuff. So I'm gonna show you how to set up a formal tablescape. As you can see, I've already gotten started with my centerpiece, and I'm gonna bring you guys in just a little bit um, closer um, pretty soon so you guys can get like a more detailed view. But before I get started, this video is a, actually a collaboration with Christina from the DIY um, Mommy channel. I absolutely love her channel. She has a um, fall 2019 um, collaboration. It's an open collaboration. Anybody can do it. I'm a little late in putting my video up there, so I'll hopefully I can get in in the playlist with all the other beautiful ladies. But I'm going to leave the playlist down below. So after you finish watching my video, please check out the other ladies. They have some amazing fall DIYs that I'm super, super excited about trying out for myself. But I want to come on here really quickly and show you guys how I set my table for fall. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let's get right to it. So before we get started, we're going to clean off the table. I have um, some moss here around the pumpkin, as you can see, so it's kind of messy, but I'm just going to wipe the table off really quickly. I get questions all the time about my table and these chairs. So chairs and a table are from the Grayson Collection at World Market. They no longer sell the tables. However, I did see the chairs at World Market, so you may be able to find them in store, but I don't think you'll be able to find them online. But this is a gorgeous um, wood table that I love. Um, so this is from World Market, like I said. But let me go ahead and um, get started in wiping off the table. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to put the placemats on the table. I have two different kinds. I have this really pretty leaf placemat that I'm gonna put on the head of each table, one here and one on the other side. These leaf placemats came from at home. Then I have this really pretty pumpkin one that I got from Marshalls. All these um, items I've probably had for a couple years, so be picky about what you want, that way you can use it over again. And I love traditional colors and mixing in some other non-traditional pieces. The next thing we're going to add are some napkins. Um, the um, spots are going to be at the end of each table. I have the napkin with the little bow on it. I knitted this um, napkin ring. I did like an um, evergreen color and like a mint green just to add some um, fun colors in here and also to bring in the green and my greenery that I have up here on the table um, centerpiece as you can see. And I thought the little raffia would give it like a little natural rustic kind of element to it. So I'm putting this on the, um, on the size of each placemat. And it goes on your um, right, it goes on your left hand side. Oopsies. The place mats go, the napkins go on your left hand side.
I'm going to be putting the um, dinner plate on top. You want to do your salad plate right on top of the dinner plates. Your soup bowls are next. That goes right on top of the salad plate. So it's dinner plate, salad plate, soup bowl. So it goes in the order that you would eat. I will not be adding um, silverware to this place setting, but I am going to add the water glass and that's the next thing that goes up here. Now with the water glass, I am going to put coasters underneath them. So I'm using these um, rustic wood-like coasters. I got these from at home um, a couple years ago. So I'm gonna add the water glass next. For this table setting, we're just going to do the um, one gla wine glass. You can do a red and a white, but we're just going to do the um, red wine glass. This is um, will be the, my red wine glass. I'm going to add that next to the table. It's just going to go right here, top of the leaf, just like that. And I'm going to zoom you guys in closer in just a little bit so we can see it all together. So, as you guys can see, I have my um, table setting. I didn't put the silverware. You typically will have your forks here and your knives and spoons here. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the plates on it. My little one just woke up, so I'm going to go rescue dad in just a minute. I have my wine glass, my water glass, and my teacup here. Typically, you would have a saucer underneath here, but I do not have an extra saucer. So... We're just doing um, the glasses as is, but I did put the coaster underneath the water glass there. Um, I told you guys earlier that I made these little napkin rings and I just tied some string around it just to make it a little festive. The napkins are from Real Market too as well. The pumpkin here is from Joanne's uh, last year, the moss is from Walmart, the little white tray, I made that out of clay a couple of years ago. Well, not a couple, like maybe like a decade ago. This is pretty old. The sand in this um, apothecary jar is from Punta Cana. Um, the gray sea seashell is from Wilmington, North Carolina, and the white one is from Jamaica. And the Wilmington, North Carolina seashell represents Tripp's first beach trip. Over here, we did the same thing, except for this one doesn't have the raffia. I like to do little extra special stuff for the ends, and I like to um, keep the other table settings a little bit more simple. So here we have the same kind of setting here. In the middle here, I have this jar from at home. I have these leaves. Um, um, I think they're like uh, eubulicus leaves. Am I saying that right? I know I'm butchering that. But these are from Joann's years ago. Inside here is a mixture of Hobby Lobby, Joann's, at home, Walmart. I mean, it's a mixture of all kinds of different florals. And I've picked these up over the years. So nothing inside here is new. And I have some going on in a drawer here. This tray um, that everything is sitting on is from at home. And then you probably can't tell, but I have this glass here sitting on top of a glass bowl that's upside down to give it a little extra height. Same thing going on over here. And this sand is also from Punta Cana. This gray seashell is from Maui. And this brown one is from Jamaica. I love those pumpkins. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I love the moss. I got that from Walmart actually yesterday. I think it just adds a nice natural element um, to the table. I think this looks really, really pretty. I really love this tablescape. And I hope you guys like this tablescape too. Let me know if I forgot to um, tell you guys where anything is from. 
but this is what I like to um, do for the fall. Like if I was hosting Thanksgiving, this is how our table will look. I love how airy it feels so it's not like really clustered together. You can still kind of see people through there and I can easily move this if I need to, but we like to put our food on the island. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys coming over here. Thank you again, Christine, from the DIY Mommy from hosting this open collaboration. I hope to join in on the next one. Um, if you guys like what you see here, I do a lot more of these type of videos every Wednesday, home decor, shot with me kind of videos. I do a lot of my DIY videos on Sundays. And if you are into vlogs, family vlogs, I do uh, family vlogs on my vlog channel. We actually just got back from Jamaica, so all my vlogs are from us from Jamaica. So if you like to see travel vlogs, go over there. We love to travel. As you can see, we pick up different things no matter where we go. And we also pick up a mug from Starbucks too. So have lots of different little trinkets there. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, my name is Marion. I'm from MarionLoveNotes.com. And thank you so much for liking and subscribing and commenting. The Everything will be linked down below, the playlists, um, channels, all that fun stuff. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.